everybody, this is Marta here on YouTube. Today I have a book review for all of you guys and the book I'm reviewing today is The One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr. So if you guys are interested in reading this book or are interested in my opinion, then keep on watching. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna take the jacket off and I gotta say the cover of this really caught my eye. That's pretty much why I bought it. Um, just a plain gray color itself. I think it's beautiful. But let me give you a little bit of a synopsis on this book. So Flora Banks, she is a 17 year old girl that when she was 10 years old, uh, she, according to her parents, she had a tumor in her head that was removed. And basically when it was removed, it removed how many times I can say that word? It removed part of her brain, part of her memories. And so she doesn't have uh, short-term memory and basically has amnesia from when she was 10 years old to now that she's 17. So that's pretty much Flora Banks herself. Now on the book, she ends up kissing a guy named Drake who is an asshole. <laughs> she ends up kissing Drake and she discovers that she remembers her kiss with Drake and that is where everything starts developing. So I have quite a lot of good things. I think there's a lot of good things about this book, but at the same time, I think there's some things that I really didn't like. For example, Drake and the whole trope with Drake. Uh, I understand that Flora got obsessed with her kiss with Drake because she could remember it and that is something huge for her and I, I completely understand that but her trope of her obsessing over Drake because at the, at the moment you're reading it you don't read it as her um, thinking of her memory she's reading it as her trying to get him so she can remember it. and that part like I do understand that I just didn't like her unhealthy obsession with him um, honestly that's pretty much the only bad thing I do have to say about this book I'm just I couldn't understand somebody that is 17 years old and just gets up and leave to go follow a guy that's ugh, I can't that that is the only part I don't like but by the end of the book, you really do discover that she is not exactly obsessed with him, but she's obsessed with the fact that he was the one that made her remember she they kissed. And uh, because of him, she remembers that, at least to her in that moment. And then at the end, you realize it's pretty much her memory telling her that you're capable enough to start remembering things if you start working on it and she is she seems to be a beautiful girl honestly so i really did like by the end of the book i really did actually like it uh at the beginning of the book the first few 150 pages maybe 200 pages i wasn't really into uh the book because she was so obsessed and i mean obsessed in an unhealthy way with drake and getting her memory back um, which I do completely understand. I probably would have done the same thing. I just don't think I would have followed a guy. That's, that's the only thing. Um, then there's a lot of other things that happen because of this kiss and her remembering it. Um, and one of my favorite things on this book and one of the things that I think deserves an honorable honorable mention is her relationship with her brother even though her brother doesn't live in London with her and they have been away for a long time she their relationship is just so special you know what I mean they have been away for so long and yet he's still keeping tabs on her he's still protecting her uh, he still wants her to get better and I think that's one of the most beautiful relationships I've seen on this book uh, and any other book really I, I really appreciate that brotherly sisterly love I think that's one of my favorite things from the book um, I think her relationship with her parents definitely needs some work I understand her mother has some issues and that's why uh, Flora hasn't have remembered I understand her mom has some issues and if you read the book you will understand them too and I don't want to give any spoilers uh, but it explains a lot about her mom's um, 
actions and her way of thinking so I thought that was really interesting her dad you can see him but you don't see a lot of him I think his relationship her relationship with her brother is the strongest one on this book and honestly I feel like I related to it so much because I do have a brother um, but it is beautiful there is um, I really like the writing style when it comes to um, describing the relationships and just you know having really feeling different the characters her brother Jacob her mom her dad her Paige her best friend Drake and just the, how different all of them are I have read some books that sometimes you can't uh, really see that much of a difference between characters but um, I think the relationships what I think the relationships between her and her brother, her and her friends, and her and her parents are all so different from each other, and that just makes this book so good for that. Um, I do hate, I do have to repeat it again, I hate the trope of this floor banks going to the Arctic to find a guy that will help her recover her memory. I just think it's just her obsession with him is really unhealthy i just i didn't really like it i understand by the end it really is about her getting her memory back um but that trope i think could have been anything else except the guy pretty like literally anything else um but yeah so basically i do recommend you guys read this book i do have to say flora gets on my nerves um, <laughs> and this is because she repeats everything so many times in the freaking first pages. Uh, how many times she read her little book, her, her little notebook, and how many times uh, she wrote on her arms, Drake, 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 you know, that's just... Oh, that gets on my nerves so bad but besides that I think she is a really great character I think um, she does have a lot of developing to do and she pretty much does a lot of developing throughout the book and by the end she discovers a lot I think she discovers a lot about herself um, and I'm really excited so if you guys have read this book please let me know what you guys think about it if you haven't and you want to read it leave me a comment down below so if you guys liked this video about the one memory of Laura Banks by Emily Barr please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel because it really does help me out and I will see you in my next one bye